for our last requirement in the subject CP351 lab, which is logic circuits lab. Okay, so to start off, I'm Mario Osorio, a student for the uh, project is a color sensor. So what is a color sensor first? Color sensor is something that detects and discriminates whatever color is it is you want to sense. Like for example, you want to sense the color of an object or you want to determine what color an object is. You just put this certain object in the sensor of the circuit and then the circuit itself will, will, will process the information inputted in the sensors to discriminate whichever color it is. Okay, okay so why, thought, why think about this part? Why come up with a color sensor as a part? First, me and my partner, Bill Mintuan, wanted to work on something that is relevant in our daily lives. And that relevant thing happened to me called so we just thought about it and then researched about color and how color is sensed. So then we decided to pursue the project. Okay, so this is our project. The, this is our prototype. It is a color sensor which is which consists of this sensor. These are the sensors. I'll explain I'll explain it later. Uh, these, this is the circuit itself, and these are the displays. So our displays consist of eight LEDs and three se seven segment displays. Okay. So first, for the for the circuit to work, it has to be connected to so, to a voltage supply. Depends on it works on 5 volts and it can also work on 9 volts whatever it is you desire so how does it work if you point a light here on the sensors uh, by the way the sensors are made of light dependent resistors LDRs and we just added filters color filters to filter the color since if you point a light here the filters will project every other color except for that color of the filter so we have three base colors red green and blue okay so those are our filters so say we point a blue a light that is color blue to the sensors then this filter will allow the color blue to pass since its frequency is the same as this. It, it will the filter will allow that certain filter frequency to pass while these other two filters won't since they have different frequencies. So the circuit consists of three input and ICs and one inverter IC. Also, we use three decoders for the 77. So, three 77, three seven segment decoders. So, if you point a certain color to the sensor, then the circuit will discriminate, will process the information through logic highs and lows, and then display the output through a lighted LED. Only one LED will light up and that LED will be that which the, that which the sensors sense the color which the sensor sense okay so say you point a green light here then the blue and red filters will block the light it won't allow the light to pass but the green filter will just will allow it the light to, to pass so that will give us a zero one zero 
So that input will then be processed here, will be sent through inverters, and then finally to the final unit, and then to the green LED out. The hand gate will activate the LED. Okay, so aside from the LED display, we have three seven segment displays. So these seven segment displays are for the binary representation of our colors. So we'll start off with 000. 000. With 000, no light is visible. Okay, no light is being det detected by the LDRs, by the sensors. So that is black. We have the orange LED for that. So 001, that is the blue. Blue, 010 for the green. 011, cyan. 100 for red. 101 for pink. 110 for yellow. And finally, when red, green, and blue light is visible, we have light, white light. So, inputs of the seven segment decoders will come directly from the sensor, from the sensors. So, this circuit, this part of the circuit will not affect the seven segment decoders. Well, the seven segment decoders are connected to the, to the, and to the inverter gates because we use the inverter gates as a buffer okay so basically that's our project and i hope you guys got a few i don't know what to so enjoy viewing our project thanks